Hello, and welcome to a Tabletop Bellhop Cardboard Coat Check. I am Mo Tuzano, the Tabletop Bellhop, your cardboard concierge, answering your gaming and game night questions and striving to make everyone's gaming experience better. Today, the question we are going to be answering is what's in the box, or rather, tin. Today, I'm going to be taking a look at Breakdancing Meeple, a new game from Atlas Games. Again, I am Motus on the Tabletop Bellhop. You can find me all over the internet as Tabletop Bellhop, one word, but the main hub for all of our content is at our webpage at tabletopbellhop.com. Be sure to head over there to find awesome gaming stuff, other unboxing videos, and answers to people's gaming and game night questions. Enough about me. We want to get to this game right away. I have not opened this. I have not gotten to see what's inside this box. I have to assume there's some meeple in here. Um, I do have a vague idea of what the game's about, but that's it. But you're going to get to see um, this for the first time with me. So you get to hear my thoughts on this game at the same time as I see it for the first time. So one of the things is this does have sticky tape on the edges, which I am just going to cut with a hobby knife instead of trying to peel off. I'm going to fail at cutting with a hobby knife. There we go. And there is another piece on this side. All right, so here we have the box for Breakdancing Meeple. The back sounds really simple. It says, your dance crew is the hottest around. Roll your meeple, complete routines, rack up crowd appeal. There is a free app to track stores, time rounds, and keep the beat. So this isn't a nice tin, it's just flat. There's no uh, texture to the tin, which is actually, to be honest, nice. It's easier to stack. I am still, no matter what, I'm not a big fan of tins for board games. I would prefer things are in boxes. Um, we have the instructions, which I keep seeing this upside down meeple and thinking it's upside down, but he's actually doing a head spin. Uh, this is by Ben Moy, published by Atlas Games. Rulebook's uh, thicker than I expected from what I'm sure is a silly game. You're getting a little bit of glare here. So we have the battle, there's set the stage, and of course there's a QR code there to grab the app. Uh, looks like we got Meeple on all different kinds of sides. Strike a stance, do a dance, and then place your Meeple onto the cards. You're trying to complete a routine by placing all the Meeple in the appropriate position. Then keep dancing, and then there's a time limit, obviously. There is a remix phase. You have rally cards, which I don't know much about that. You have matching pair of cards and the list for the end of the game. We got credits on the back, and that's about it. So the rule book is a big 10 pages, but that's a nice big uh, font they're using here. Not a lot of information, looks pretty simple. And then as expected, we got Meeple. What's really cool is they are wearing jerseys. I was not expecting that. So we have four different colors of meeple. We have green meeple. I gotta say, that, that, that's a cute meeple right there. It's got some shades. It's got a t-shirt with a crown on it, the, the, the break dancing symbol. Uh, we also have one, two, three, four, well here, let's take these out. So in green, I'm sure, I'm not gonna pull these out for every color. So we have six meeple. And, I can't count, six cubes in different colors. So what I will do is I'll pull out the other meeples so you can see them. And then we have some cards. We'll get to the cards in a minute. I'm going to leave the green ones out for now. We're just going to grab the meeple out of the red. This one's got some sneakers and sunglasses. Red meeple break dancer. They are two-sided. Same thing on both sides. Yellow Meeple, my preferred color. Seem to be sporting the clock on a chain. Classic look. Classic breakdancing look. And then we have the blue Meeple, who appear to have bandanas. Got the blue meeple. Then we have a number of cards um, held together with a, an elastic. Which is odd to see in a game. I don't think I've ever seen an elastic around cards. It's a very 
like just perfectly fit. I don't see any damage on the cards. That's what you worry about with elastics. I don't see any bending or anything there. So then you have a whole bunch of moves to try to pull off. You got Blake Red, the Clack Trap, the Yellow, the Yellow there, the Turtle. House Party, Standing, I don't know why there's, uh, most of these are purple now. So I don't know why they're color coded that way. The Boogaloo. Oh, we have something a little different than just. So let's sort these, just to see what we actually have. So we have a whole bunch of purple. Meeple, Breakdance moves. We got, and then two each yellow, so I have to assume maybe these are, uh, Unique moves specific to the different player colors. And we have two blues. We have two greens. And two reds. Then we have some horizontally shaped cards. The Lazy Susan, the Crazy Legs, the do -si do and the Tumbleweed. And then, I have no idea. We have, we have some costs here. Conga Line, Roll Call, Seconds, Laundry Day, and Hit the Deck. Uh, one of these says, if you have three plus routines with one cube each, place a cube here. I don't know, it must be some kind of combo patterns. So from what I understand of this game is this is similar to games like um, one that we've done, King of the Dice, or Roll For It, where you would have a number of cards out, and you would be literally rolling your meeple trying to get those patterns. So no, oh, there we go, I have one on its side. So there we go, we have one on its side. Come on, standing. I need one standing. And you'd be rolling your meeple, trying to get them in the position. There we go, one standing. And then I think I put a cube there. I'm not positive. Again, I haven't read the rules. But the whole concept is roll your meeple to try to get them into the positions of the dance phases on here to score points. Now, these are standard meeples. They are, they, these could be Carcassonne meeples. I don't have a Carcassonne meeple in front of me. But as far as I can tell by touch, this is the exact same size as your standard Mayfair games traditional meeple. Just they have some um, breakdancing gear on. So that's it. That's what you get with a copy of breakdancing meeple. I got to say, um, game looks silly enough. The meeple are cute. They're well done. I was, I was just expecting meeple. I wasn't expecting them to have any um, colors or anything to differentiate them. Well, I expect them to have colors, but I mean the, the silk screening. Um, what I am disappointed with, though, is once I put all this back in this tin, these cards in particular are just going to slide around everywhere. Would have been nice to have some kind of way to hold these cards in place. I'm always loath to use an elastic. I could re-elastic them, but that seems like a possibly bad idea because you can end up with your cards getting creased. I'm going to do it for now to pack this up. What I'll probably end up doing is throwing these in a um, Ziploc baggie to throw in here. Um, people often complain about wasted space. i got to say, surprisingly, there's not a lot in this tin. Once I get these meeples in here... There's not a ton of extra space, but you could fit a lot more cards. So if they ever decided to do a breakdancing meeple expansion, you could probably fit about twice as many cards that were in here. But not a lot of air, not a lot of wasted space. Uh, this does play two to four players. Uh, says age is eight and up, and says it only plays in five minutes. So you want a silly quick filler game. Here you have one, breakdancing meeples. So that was a look at what you get in the box with breakdancing meeples from Atlas Games. Pretty much what I expected to see, a bunch of cards with pictures of meeples in various positions and a bunch of meeple. And the basic premise that I understand of the game is you're going to roll your meeple and try to get them to land, like roll them like dice and try to get them to land in the positions shown on your cards and somehow score points and there's some kind of contest there with it. So that's pretty much it. Um, it isn't a tin, not a box. Not a lot of people are a fan of tins, but at least it's, it's a standard shape. Um, Going on my shelf, I guess I could put it on this way and still see it's Breakdancing Meeple. I probably could go as a book shelf or bookcase as well. Um, what I didn't like in this tin is all the cards are just loose in here. So I would want some way to take the cards. What is good about that is you could easily sleeve your cards and they'll still fit in the tin. There's nothing to stop the cards from fitting afterwards. Uh, the Meeples are standard Carcassonne style Meeples, uh, but they do have a bit of artwork on them, which is a nice touch. So that's pretty much it. Uh, that's... Breakdancing Meeples from Atlas Games. I'm Mo Tuzman of the Tabletop Bellhop. You can find me at tabletopbellhop.com or all over social media as Tabletop Bellhop, one word. That's it for tonight. Good night and game on.